One of the hallmarks of developing a personal style at any given point, whether 10 years ago or right now in 2024, is to declutter your wardrobe. If you are new here, you will probably see more of these in my videos, my old videos. I always talk about decluttering. And that is why in today's video, I'll be sharing with you 12 things that you need to get rid of to build a functional closet in 2024. If this sounds like something that you are interested in, you should definitely keep watching. Hi Jens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith. I'm a men's personal style consultant and personal shopper based in Nigeria. I know that the OGs of this channel will be wondering why I have not talked about decluttering in a long time because I always talk about decluttering. Yes, it is an hallmark of building a functional closet, of developing your personal style or even elevating your personal style. And because we are in 2024, I'm going to do a two-part series. This is one where I'm sharing 12 things that you need to get rid of and 12 things that you need to add to your wardrobe i drew up a list it's right here in this phone and somehow i have spilled over 12 but we are going to get into it straight i have also categorized these items based on your formal outfits your business formal outfits your casual outfits and then your accessories and native wear for my brothers in nigeria and africa at large so let's get right into it for the formal stroke business for our outfits the first thing i want you to get rid of in 2024 is tight suits and tight blazers so whether your blazer is exceptionally tight and it looks like the button is going to snap any minute or you can't even button the jacket it needs to go if the trousers are also too tight you can't sit down comfortably you can't bend properly yes we have that for men as well it's time to let that trouser whether it's for the suit or it's a separate trouser that you wear under your blazer it's time to let it go tight suits tight blazers tight trousers are not attractive in any way okay so you need to let them go is it that you've outgrown them and they no longer fit and it's time to give it to a new owner or you have just bought a size too small for yourself and that's something you need to bear in mind when you are shopping your suits there's a fit test i have on my channel where you go through the short section and in other videos where i've talked about your business formal outfits your business casual outfits as well where you can test how your suit should fit okay and how your jacket should fit how your trouser should fit you should always do a seat test for your trouser to make sure that the thigh area has enough allowance for your legs and your thighs and you also do a watch test for your jacket to be sure that you are able to move your shoulders around the suit jacket is sitting properly on your shoulder as well it's not dropping because once you make a mistake with the shoulder of your jacket whether it's of your blazer or your suit it's very difficult to correct okay i'm not sharing tips on how these things should fit i'm just sharing things that you need to get rid of and declutter immediately from your wardrobe in the business formal or business casual section number two is your short or almost skinny trousers i'm talking of your short length trousers there is a way your suit trousers should fit in terms of the break in terms of the trouser break whether you're having a no break you're having half break you're having a full break there has to be a way it fits this new trend of your trousers for your suits jumping up and we can see above your ankle and it's so short it has to go that is not how you should look when you are dressed in a business formal outfit or even a business casual outfit yes i know the business casual outfits the rules are less stringent but skinny trousers over a jacket whether it's a sports coat whether it's a blazer whether it's a suit jacket it just gives this disproportionate look so if you have very skinny trousers i'm talking of formal trousers pants all right in terms of the fabric or there are chinos that you wear with your sports coats and your blazers you need to make sure that they balance properly we are not doing those shots in terms of length trousers this year so please get rid of them number three item that we are getting rid of from this business formal and business casual outfits are faded chinos at the knees if the knees of your chinos are faded or any part of your chinos at all maybe the thigh area is faded or the bum part is faded because of this 
fabric and the way it is washing away maybe you have not been laundering it properly it's time to let it go don't say it's navy we can't see or it's black in fact your black and navy chinos trousers are the most visible when they start to fade for your grace you can get away with it but you see those blacks and navies they have to go <laughs> number four we are going to your shirt whether that shirt is faded completely or it is faded around the collar area or the collar is already frayed i shared a diy trick on how to turn your frayed collars how to turn them out and then it looks like your entire shirt is new again when you have a faded collar and the shirt is still okay you can't throw away the shirt because it's still okay it's just the collar check my videos i'm putting it somewhere here for you to tap in and it's also in the description box and i think i'll pin it in the comments for you to see how you can turn your collar where the shirt is still in good condition or you can just take it to a tailor and they'll just help you to swap it but if that's not the case the collar is torn the collar is faded the shirt is faded it is time to let it go and then a bonus point under the business formal business casual category is square toe shoes i don't know what we are going to do about square toe shoes every time we say we need to get rid of them somehow they come back again they come back in designer labels we have them in gucci we have them in ferragamo and i have these clients that somehow just it just i don't know it's just like square toes shoes are always calling his name and i'm always telling him you don't have the physique type to even wear these shoes yes because if you have a short physique type and you wear a square toe shoe it's going to make you look more compressed okay these shoes are not attractive i don't understand what's going on get a rounded toe shoe it doesn't even have to be overly pointed because those ones too can be kind of cringy but if it's just round it's that's fine okay square toe shoes please let's let us let them go in 2024 now let's go to our casuals number one item that you need to get rid of <laughs> i'm sure you will already see this coming in your casual wear is skinny jeans i need to share a testimony here because my husband got rid of his skinny jeans yes and he started wearing alternatives to skinny jeans i have shared here that straight cut jeans are good where the bottom is straight it is not skinny there's a difference and you can also wear carrot trousers yes the carrot trouser has that skinny effect especially for cargoes yes they are very nice I, i'm putting some pictures pictures of my husband in a carrot cut trouser and you can wear it that's a casual trouser you can wear it it just works it's better it's more appealing than a skinny jeans okay skinny tight jeans need to go they need to go okay number two item that need to go from your casual wear selection are all your t-shirts with massive logos as if you're a brand ambassador yes i know you are wearing gucci but why is the gucci so massive like what is going on what is going <laughs> what is going on gucci also makes shirts where they just write the gucci or just put the logo a little bit here or it's not massive okay the same thing goes for accessories that like you just have a belt it's just big if we can just see the whole thing we know yes it's ferragamo okay so what should we do please all those things that have massive massive logos <laughs> There are alternatives to these t-shirts and they are very nice. Get a personal shopper like me to get you really good alternative. Even if your style personality is the type that likes to show off logos, it doesn't mean that you should wear a massive Chanel Balenciaga. <laughs> like what is going on please let the t-shirts with very massive graphics and very massive brand labels let them go in 2024 number three item that needs to go from your wardrobe are these overly distressed jeans see distressed jeans are not bad i've seen some and they're, and they're really great like if you know how to, especially the distressed jeans that is now skinny again and it's very tight and there's just a lot of distressing going on oh why what's going on like let's talk <laughs> let us talk let these distressed jeans go like some jeans are so distressed they literally break our hearts like why please let i'm serious gents let the overly distressed jeans go you can wear distressed jeans in a way that is even appealing and someone else wants to try it but when the phrase are a lot it's so zigzaggy or they put something on that is like shiny and it's all uh, like what what is going on what is going on 
let's let's try to not do that this year so if you have overly distressed jeans like the ones i'm showing on the screen right now please let them go and then for your casuals as well this is supposed to go under accessories but i'm just going to mention here if you have faded jewelry or you have jewelry that is not in good condition again is probably tangled or something please ah uh, you know let's let's or you have wristwatches that are not working again and you have replaced their batteries a million times the, the engine is bad that is what is going on i i hate to break it to you but really that's what's going on it's gone like it's gone back to its owner to the factory let them go this year <laughs> okay so let's go to the native wear section the first thing we are getting rid of in terms of native wear are all your tight knitting see <sighs> okay let me calm down your tight native wear needs to go anything tight native wear is not supposed to be tight i don't understand what's going on why is your booba tight why why is your trouser why is your ankara trouser why is it tight whether it's a long one or a short one what is what is happening well <laughs> why are we seeing <laughs> If it's tight, something is wrong. It's native wear. The only people allowed to wear fitted, not even tight native wear, are ladies. Yes, the ones that cling to your body. Men, if you have native wear like that, that is clinging to your body, it's time to let it go. Is either you have outgrown it, maybe when you sewed it, it, you were not this size, but now you are this size, so it's time to let it go. Or, I don't know what was going on with your style, but it really is time to let them go. And if you also have excessively massive native wear that it looks like you are drowning in them, you need to either let them go or you take them to a tailor for them to go and fit it properly to your size. If you are wearing native wear, it needs to fit. That's the only way we can appreciate the beauty, regardless of your tradition, regardless of your culture. Amen? Amen. Number two item on the native wear are all your sandals and your backless loafers that have worn out soles. Uh, the soles are not great or the surfaces are peeling. They need to go. They need to go. Is it that you get a cobbler to fix them? And if you've been fixing them and they are refusing to get fixed, it's time to let them go. So if you have those sandals that it's just you know and then some of them have also dulled out and you are shining them and they are, they are refusing to shine it's time to let them go go and sell them to these cobblers they they know how to reuse some of these materials and if you get a really good cobbler they can revamp the shoes for you but for your native wear things that you don't want to miss out are the shoes that you are wearing with them and the fit of the native wear okay now let's go to accessories for your accessories the first thing i want you to let go of in your accessory collection Huh? Are all these studded belts? Studded belts need to go. It's okay. You wore them when you were a teenager. You wore them when you were entering your youth stage. It's now. It's enough. You have tried with. Stu Don't wear studded belts again. Thank you and God bless. Number two are all your colorful and bands. I'm talking of the rubber and bands, especially the church ones and maybe your football club ones and stuff like that. They make your entire outfit just look very cheap. Even if you are pledging allegiance to your church or something, wear it to church. Don't wear it to work. And then why are you wearing five colorful and bands? What is going on? Also, before you think it's just the rubber and bands, you know those beaded and bands too? Yes those beads it's okay it's time to let them go it's not guys see you have to look the parts okay and i know that we don't have the same style personalities yes i have talked about it before that if you're in the entertainment industry you may be caught wearing multiple handbands and all of that wristbands it's fine but you can do the woven ones you can do one or two beaded ones okay you you don't have to do seven you don't have to do them in red green and yellow it's it's not necessary at all let's get rid of studded belts let's get rid of colorful and bands rubber or beaded and bands number three under accessories are your overly wide ties or very skinny ties okay your tie regardless of your physique type should be about two to three inches wide okay whatever your physique type is your tie should not be more than three inches in width okay also get rid of short ties choir members please those short ties they are not good choir master they are not good at all 
the tie should stop right on the belt i'm putting a picture for you to see the length the appropriate length of a tie anything longer than that is too long anything shorter than that is too short irrespective of your physique type okay number four we are getting rid of our faded and or torn underwear so whether it's your boxers whether it's your vest whether it's your socks as long as it is faded as long as it is torn it's time to let them go also if you've been wearing it for over a year let them go there's a duration there's a time duration of when you should wear your underwear for of how long you should wear your underwear for i have a video coming up where i'm talking about things underwear how often you should change them so look out for that video but if you have boxers that the crouch area is already strong you understand what i'm saying <laughs> it's already again like it's when you hold that side it's good it's, it's okay it's time to let them go okay so whether the socks is torn or faded or is the vest or is the boxer it's time to let it go so that you can get new replacements for them and the final item under accessories that I want you to get rid of are your worn out wallets. Yes, whether it is faded or the wallet is torn, it's cracked, it has spilled, whatsoever the condition of the wallet is, is it has saved. Please let it go so that you can get a fresh wallet to hold your money for 2024. <laughs> okay, so this is where I'm going to be drawing the curtains in today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've taken notes of the things that you need to get rid of in your own closet because you already know which of these categories pertains to you. I think in total I've shared about 17 items even though I wanted to share 12. But yes, let these items go in the different categories of your closet so that you can get replacements for all these items in the second part of this series i'll be sharing with you 12 items that you need to add to your closet this year irrespective of your style personality your physique type hopefully and your preferences generally so i hope the 12 things i'll be pulling out would work for everybody okay thank you so much for watching today's video if you are new here welcome on board please don't leave without subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that you are notified every time my video drops i'm trying to reach the 1000 subscriber mark so that i can get monetized so please help share this video and my other videos with the men around you watch my videos i'm begging yes and i will see you in the next one thank you so much and bye for now